So in this video we're going to talk about the effects of a transformation. So we're given the original function is one-third x squared and we need to figure out what's happening if we do the following f of x plus 3 in parentheses plus 9. So let's start with the x plus 3 in here. When it's inside the parentheses it's always going to be a horizontal movement. Right? It's always going to be opposite of what you expect. So what's going to happen is it's going to move three units and it's going to go three left right? because normally we'd think plus would be right so that's why I say opposite of what you expect so x plus three was going to move, shift the graph three to the left now the plus nine at the end is going to do exactly what we expect we're adding nine to the y values so that's going to move the whole graph up nine so we're going to go three to the left and up 9, so D. Now in, in the next problem we're actually going to figure out what this formula looks like, so this is our function notation. So we're going to figure out what F of X plus 3 plus 9 will be given this original function. So let's start off with F of X plus 3. It's going to be 1 third times, now we're replacing the X with x plus 3. x plus 3 squared and now we have the plus 9 at the end. So this part here is f of x plus 3 this is plus 9. Now a common mistake is to distribute the square and write it as x squared plus 3 squared. Can't do that. It has to be foiled out. And you want to foil it. It's going to be better to foil it out before you multiply in the 1 third. So x plus 3 times x plus 3 and at the very end we will be adding the 9. So if we FOIL this out x times x gives us an x squared and then in the middle we've got a 3x and another 3x so that's plus 6x and at the end we've got 3 times 3 so plus 9. Now this whole thing needs to get multiplied by 1 third and then we'll add 9 at the end. So distributing the one-third, we have a one-third x squared. One-third times six is two, so plus two x. And then one-third times nine is plus three, plus nine. So finally, we get one-third x squared plus two x plus twelve. And there's our uh, final answer. So, oh, that would be our simplified answer. We didn't need to simplify, but it's, it's good that we went through that anyways.